Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to Rachel Reads. My name is Rachel. I love to read and write Christian fiction, and today I'm doing recent reads number four. So really quickly, I'm going to update this whole recent reads process because I procrastinate filming these for so long because it's just hard to film an edit. I'm gonna do like 10 to 15 books each recent reads until I can catch up. Um, and once I catch up, I'll just do like 10 to 15 from there on out. So yeah, the first book is To Spark a Match by Jen Toronto. I marked this as a five on Goodreads and didn't change it. Now I would probably say that it's a four and a half. I don't think about it a lot. But between book one and book two, I can't decide which one's my favorite because they're both really, really good. I just kind of loved our main character and I definitely would say maybe book two is better. This is Christian historical romance and we are following Ad Adelaide Duveen. She is part of this like bookshop, but there's a mystery going on which gets her involved with the main character who is Gideon and I'm pretty sure he's some sort of undercover agent. He is because that book is honestly really funny and just really good. Um, in my Goodreads review, I did mention that it would be titled as My Dear Miss Duveen because I feel like so many people called her that and it would have been a great title. But to spark and match does go along with the Matchmaker series um, and I enjoyed it and I do recommend it. The next books I read are the first four books in a series. I don't know how long the series is going to be because it's still being written. Um, but these are the first four books. The first book is The Lady of Lunaria which is by Michaela Bush. I gave this book five stars. It is a Rapunzel retelling. It has a lot to do with like herbs. Our male main character is a guard, not a thief. Um, and they end up meeting and just a lot of great stuff happens. It was a very sweet story. I think this is Christian non-magical fantasy. So if you're looking for a clean Rapunzel retelling and you want to be Christian, I would really recommend this one. Now as a content warning for the series as a whole, this series does deal with um, spiritual gifts such as um, prophesying or healing versus evil things. Um, so there is some mentions of magic or witchcraft but it is heavily looked down upon and considered evil so I do want to put that out there. The second book The Healer of the Brigade like I mentioned does deal with spiritual healings. I gave this book four stars. I loved our main character. She was really kind of tough at first but then she started opening up and I really enjoyed seeing that and seeing her development. And book three is The Highlander's Victory. If you want an Irish book that is clean and Christian, I highly recommend this one. This does take a lot of Irish inspiration um, and I just found it to be a really amazing story. There is even some like Irish legends. Book four is The Kingdom's True Queen and I this one definitely needs a lot of trigger warnings because it deals with human trafficking and different things that go along with that. This follows the Queen's servant um, and she has something that the Queen really wants and there's just a lot of connections. One of the characters we meet in the Highlander's Victory is actually the male main character of The Kingdom's True Queen and I really love this story. I think if you enjoyed Victoria Lynn's This Life of Mine, you would definitely love it. Um, and again, it is mostly clean. There's no content I would maybe warn off of, but do know that it does do a lot with human trafficking. So I do want to make a really quick note about The Kingdom's True Queen. Technically speaking, I read this book about a month ago because I had Kindle Unlimited. I read the first three books back in May or June. I just want to put that out there because I read that book later but I wanted to talk about the series as a whole. The next book was one I read on a vacation because it was at the house we were staying at and that is Coffee Shop Christmas by Rihanna Miller. I gave this book five stars. It is just a sweet Christmas book. There is a very short but again very sweet just simple a lot of good like Christmas ideas. It has that snowed in aspect and they're snowed in at a coffee shop and the gospel is presented. It's just a really beautiful book and if you're looking for a Christian Christmas book I highly recommend this one. Next four books are also part of a completed series that is the Cape Refuge series by Terry Blackstock. Book one is Cape Refuge. I gave this one four stars. I really enjoyed the mystery of this one. I definitely found our main character Morgan extremely interesting. The mystery is definitely heartbreaking because of how close it is to our characters but again a lot of stuff goes on and it was very very good. If you're looking for just a basic Christian suspense I highly recommend Terry Blackstock. This series is pretty good. Book 2 I gave 3.5 stars and that is Southern Storm. I remember a little bit about this book. I found it interesting and 
something happens in book one um, that I'm not going to mention for spoiler reasons, but for content reasons, I am going to say that um, book two in the series, I'm pretty sure it deals with like teenage drinking and underage drinking. Um, so do be warned of that. Nothing is really overly detailed or um, explicit and while I enjoyed um, the main character story, just that side story was kind of dragging it down a little bit. But book three was River's Edge. This is definitely a big combination, but also followed one of the characters from book one. Um, from what I remember, I could be really wrong, but I'm pretty sure it follows one of our main characters from book one. And this one has a lot of family aspect and what to expect of family and family dynamics. The last book was the most disappointing. I gave it two and a half stars. There was something in the book that should have happened in my opinion for multiple reasons. There is something that goes on with one of the main characters we followed in book one and book three. Um, and it, if you like sketchy behavior, maybe read this. The next book I read is Heartless by Anne Elizabeth Stingle. Um, and mind you, I read these books like two months ago and on Goodreads, I still have not rated or reviewed it. And I try to rate every book I read and I put full review to come but I just I don't know what to think of this story because there are certain allegorical elements and certain humor elements from a character that I loved and deserved five stars for that reason but our main character and her struggles and just how annoying she could be made me want to give it two stars so where do I land on that because like I want to give it three and a half stars. I think that's fair, but I don't want to round it down to three because it deserves better, but four just seems too high. I don't know what to give this book because although I enjoyed it, it so much frustrated me about our main character. The next book is Never Let Go by Elizabeth Goddard. I gave it 3.75 stars. I really did enjoy this book. It is your basic Christian romantic suspense and by basic I mean if you are wanting to start Christian romantic suspense or if you're just wanting a palate cleanser I would recommend going to this book. Her grandfather or her father or grandfather was someone who investigated people's backgrounds but he recently passed so she is trying to take on the last job before deciding what to do but someone from her past steps in to help her out because her grandfather called her in, called him in. Nothing was like outstanding for me to give it five stars, but nothing that I really hated. Now for the first book I can hold up, but that is Pearl in the Sand by Tessa Afshar. I gave this book four and a half stars. So this deals with Rahab who, if you know her story, she comes from a very hard background, but she gets accepted into the children of Israel and she actually does end up in the line of Jesus. So you really see a lot of redemption throughout this book. The main reason it's four and a half stars is because Rahab and Salmon get married about 50% through, I want to say. And while there is no explicit content, I want to make that clear. This book is clean. If you know the story of Rahab, I would be wary because she is the main character. So you're going to hear a lot about that but nothing is overly explicit or nothing made me want to DNF it. I just would be warned that you know who Rahab is, so you kind of know the story that's going to occur. Um, but we just see a lot of her emotions struggling with being married and her past. But again, this is a story of redemption and how God loves us so much, even though we have lived such sinful lives. And I really love that message. And the last book for today is Ignite by Kara Swanson. Um, I received this as an e-arc um, and I gave it 4.25 stars. The book is out. So if you're interested in reading a clean Phoenix fantasy, I highly recommend this. I was just looking for something that was bigger that was going to happen early on. But, but with this story, everything is kind of like a build up kind of like a snowball effect so like we start off really just small but the further you go the bigger it gets um and again I just I didn't know what to expect exactly with this book because it does do a lot with family healing and understanding what that is Eli is just a great character he is amazing and the ending was beautiful but like stressful because now for what I'm currently reading. That is A Lady's Guide to Marvels and Misadventure by Angela Bell. <laughs> Disclaimer, if I ever say A Lady's Guide to Marvels and Misfortune, forgive me. I really want to call this book that, but it's Misadventure. 
this book is amazing so on goodreads on one of my updates i compared it to a jen toronto meets joanna davis and palatano but make it whimsical this was in my library book called predictions i predicted this to be a five star and it is on its way to becoming a five star book and in my bible i'm working on the last part of ephesians and then i'll eventually read ephesians and then move on to james that is all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching i hope god blesses you today and i'll see you next time bye